What is going on everybody welcome back to another team of the season play review and today we're going to be looking at an absolute bronze beast who goes by the name of Honoren Waju Kyode but thank god he's actually known as Larry Kyode rather than that first name that I've probably absolutely just butchered on the pronunciation but if you do enjoy this play review make sure to leave a big thumbs up on this and get it over 25 likes that would be absolutely amazing and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more team of the season and FIFA content over the next few weeks but um without any further ado let's get started stuck into Coyote's basic information. He stands at 5 foot 8. He's got 2 star skill moves and 2 star weak foot which is less than ideal. Uh, he comes with medium medium workouts and his price spans are between 8k and 150k and is currently going for a very reasonable for a team of that season. About 20k just under which is uh, pretty crazy for a team of the season card really but um, getting into his in games and base card stats lads you would not think this was a bronze card looking at these stats. He's a 64 overall of course and his base card he's got an incredible 94 pace 76 dribbling, 70 shooting, 55 passing, 64 physical and 35 defending, but those top 5 in games man, they are incredible, particularly for a bronze player, he's coming in with 96 sprint speed, 95 agility, 90 acceleration, 85 balance and 84 jumping and he also comes with this speedster and acrobat traits and specialities. You can see the team that we used him on screen now, bit of an Algerian theme and uh, then going into a Syria and BPL hybrid at the back, partnering up front with the Man City legend that is Kaliji Iheanacho. But in the 5 games that we played with Larry Coyote, he came out with 12 goals which is an absolutely insane return particularly considering that this guy is a bronze and as we start to get into some of the game clips now of Coyote in action I can tell you lads he is an absolute monster he's one of those players he's just got great stats in the right places the positives on this card lads he is absolutely rapid obviously you can see that with his base card and in-game stats but he just feels so bloody quick it is absolutely ridiculous he's also got crazy crazy dribbling just because of his good agility and balance i mean you used to know to dribbling with this card and not defenders just struggle to deal with it i was coming against bron uh, gold defenders sorry constantly and they just couldn't get anywhere near coyote just because of his pace and his agility the weaknesses of the card of course he's only got two star weak foot and a two star skill move set which is just nowhere near good enough but um the other major downfall were his finesse shots for me. I just didn't find his finesse shots anywhere near good enough. Of course, he's a bronze card, and I did have a lot more success in the long term with his uh, just just regular shooting. I think I said something similar about the um, team this season. Farias, you're better off just literally holding MB, going for the power shots. And even though he's not got an incredible shot power, it's still a hell of a lot more likely to go in than his finesse shots. But um, going back to the positives now, his pace is absolutely incredible. His agility is amazing. His dribbling, his balance. And his movement, lads, again, very similar to Team of the Season Farias because he's just so quick and he just makes the right runs. And when you've got someone that's got incredible pace and the, the making good movements, making good runs in behind, it doesn't matter what defenders he got there, they ain't going to keep up with him. They just cannot keep up with him. He's just so, so quick. And like I say, 12 goals in five games is an absolutely fantastic return. And overall, he has actually got the most goals out of any team of the season player that I've used so far. And he's a bronze. That is absolutely crazy. But um, overall, we're going to be giving him an 8.5 out of 10. He's one of these cards, lads. If he had a better weak foot, better finishing on the whole, and some better skill moves. I mean, two star and two star and the weak foot skill moves just isn't good enough. Then he would easily be getting over a nine. I said something similar about the Farios player review as well, but it's just it's true. If this guy had skill moves and a bit better composure and finishing on the finesse, then he would probably be getting like a 9.3 or 9.4. But still, this is an absolutely incredible card. For the money that you're paying for it, I would highly recommend you go out there and give him a go, lads, because like I say, he is just so quick, so good on the dribble, and so fun to use. But um, that wraps up this player review. Like I said at the start, throw a thumbs up on it if you did enjoy, lads, and I will speak to you all in tomorrow's video. Nidge out. Yo, his niche plays with big games and player reviews are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates his video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching vids and you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating, so don't ignore the like and subscribe button to support the channel that keeps running. It takes one second, like it's free. It costs nothing. Peace.